how how I can turn this into something. I'm trying out arrangement view today. Um, here, why not? Why not try something new? I was watching some some other streamers, some, some folks I liked working in here. They weren't doing it's kind of like continuous loops, but they were more building a song out, which is really what arrangement view is for. But lets so you kind of see what's going on a little bit easier. You get kind of a in, more detailed view quicker than you can in uh, session view. So I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to give it a go. We got some drums. We got a little pad thing. We got some bass. Turn my bass down a little bit. Come my horns here. I'm going to throw some effects on these guys, starting with a reverb.
mic down here, um, and it is picking up sound from the speakers, but I don't, I think because I'm also sending the sound directly, it doesn't really matter. Um, so it's probably a little bit lower quality, you're probably hearing kind of the reverb that I'm hearing out here. But as long as you can hear me through this mic, that's a good sign.
that if it turns into something decent, it makes it a lot easier to start working on an actual song for it as well. Uh, which I'm gonna try to do more of. Um, it's been a long, it's been many years since I've actually tried to like work through a song. Uh, try to try to build one out. So I might get back into doing that.
And that's all she wrote. Hope you enjoyed that one, my one viewer out there. Appreciate you, whoever you may be. Hopefully you enjoyed that little jam. And we're on to the next one. Later this evening, I'm doing a, having some friends over to do a multi-person jam session, which are always more fun. And depending on how they feel, I might be streaming that as well. So keep an eye out this evening for, that'll be in, I don't know, six, seven hours, something like that, um, for a potential another stream with a bunch of folks, a few folks, two folks. Um, let's call this one soft morning, I don't know, February 24th. All right. Let's do another one. Something a little bit more upbeat. Something to get us cruising a little bit more. All right, while that loads, I will be right back. I'm gonna grab some water. All right, I'm back. Finally figured out how to do these little, the side screens, the, the fades in OBS, pretty stoked. So I'm gonna make some fun images or something to have for a be right back and stream starting, you know, that all the pros use. We'll see if that works out. All right, so save that, let's do a new live set. start with I kind of want to start with the sample like find some some random sample see what it is and work from that bass samples I guess clips more what I want to start with those are all effects that could be doable that wasn't too bad couple things new mic setup so hopefully you can hear me all right you probably can now but once we get a jam going and then um, trying out arrangement view in Ableton pixel Bob thank you for the Bob I need to I, I need to get emotes I need to like make some emotes for for my channel that'd be fun <laughs> sound of that a lot actually. I want to bring that in to here. Maybe. 
Oh, that's, ah, I see. That was a MIDI track. All right, here we go. And then take this and do slice to new MIDI track. Create one slice per transient. Built-in, preserved, warped timing. Oh, is this warped here? Let's unwarp this. Unwarp. Convert, or no, I guess I do want slice. Okay, so maybe we need warp on for that, which is fine. It's at 86, that's at 86. Slice to new MIDI track, transients built in, okay. Jim the cat, what have you been up to? How's life? How are things? There we go, I got that. Owning, I'm glad you're owning. Owning life. All right, let's see if we can make this into something that would sound good, this little sound here. Let's grab, we're just gonna grab a compressor. Try to make it a little bit louder. There we go. Try 109. It seems to be the right tempo there. Uh, let's get rid of that. Mute that guy. Metronome on. So let's take that, let's throw this at the start here. Let's record this to audio. How are you doing, mate? This interface looks intense. I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Um, it's a nice, super sunny day. We got some, bunch of snow melt the last few days. Um, my ceiling started leaking, 
earlier this week. Um, so I think they put a temporary fix on it and they can fix it later, um, more permanently. But other than that, I'm just chilling. Been been reading books, been playing games, been making music, having some friends over tonight to do a group jam, which should be fun. Um, to audio DP, that's what I want to record here. Yeah, they. So this is this is Ableton Live. Um, and they have a pretty pretty decent interface. I like it. You know, it's pretty similar to a lot of a lot of DAWs out there. Um, They just came out, and this is like Ableton Live 9, I think. Yeah, Live 9. They just came out with um, Ableton Live 11, which has some, some sweet looking features in it. So I might try that out maybe later this week, maybe next week. Um, get into that and try, try messing with it a little bit. Uh, let's see, I don't know, how do I... I don't think I want to do that, so I just want to take these, give myself a little bit longer bar here. Let's go out, yeah, I'll make it, yeah, I'll make it 16 measures here. That'll work. that loop wrong I think. What's going on with that? Oh, it's supposed to start here, I see. just record this again because that that didn't seem to work the way I expected it to so let's just record that again oh I guess that is what I played so I guess we oh I know we just want this part that's what we want looped maybe oh huh why do we not let's loop that part um loop selection no because that just does that i just want to loop i guess they make it pull it in this way pull those in and then loop this guy there we go Grab. Mm -hmm. 
something else to play with here. Maybe some brass? so we're only ever playing one note at a time. G, down to E, down to C, back to G. That's what we'll do. Too many Zeta, too many plugins is, I think, is what causes my Ableton to crash. Too many MIDI plugins going at once. You get some crashing. That's annoying. Yeah, it, it was super annoying. I was. It's happened twice now. Um, in the middle of. Of streaming too, which is not super fun. Um, basically, 
it has to, you know, it's just like using up so many resources when it has to go into these VST, these like plug-in instruments. Um, and so if you have too many of those, it's just, it overloads it, it seems, and it crashes. Um, and so instead, what I like to do, what I've been doing here is, decided to kind of do going forward is just record everything to audio. Um, just get it like in an audio track because it seems to be fine with audio. It's when you have like the mini plugins constantly going that causes it to, to slow down. And then I can just reuse this Zeta instrument too, which is nice. Like I can just change this to something else. So let's just do a different wave here. Let's see what waves we got. That's not a nice one. I don't like that. It's just saw wave.
gonna take this and I'm definitely gonna quantize all of this to quarter notes.
we just add that in here.
some research firm. Every now and then I get these messages like, Hey, Patrick, we need blah, 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 blah. Do you support blah, 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 blah. And I'm not Patrick. I'm not Patrick. The question is, do you get spams under your, your parents' name? Uh, I think my dad just put my number somewhere. Didn't tell me. Oh yeah, no, I never, I, they texted me, which is almost worse than calling, because like then I have like a freaking notification on the top of my phone.
show fades. Here we go. That's what I wanted. that interesting that's not what that sounds like at all huh I don't know whatever <laughs>
right. What are you guys up to right now? Walt, what are you doing? I already asked Jim the cat what he's doing, so he probably doesn't want to answer again. What are you up to, Walt? Chilling and Danny before working. Hell yeah, that is the way. That is the way. Nice. Some Overwatch. I haven't played Overwatch in a long time. I think the last time was probably at Annie on a controller. Jim the Cat closing some bowing options. Nice. Hopefully in the green. I saw they went up a little bit today. I went in this morning and did a bunch of um, stop loss recalculations for my 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 stocks that I have that I own. Doing some trying to do just more like I don't know long term slash swing trading kind of stuff. Just like sort of over over multiple weeks, kind of letting it sit, trying to get like ten to twenty percent returns on things. You know, doing like two to one stop losses on those. Yeah, I might. I need to. I'd have to get approved by by Schwab for the next tier of options. They have like like um, you can trade options at like level one or whatever it is, and then they have like selling, and then they have spreads and things above that, or like special things. Um, so I'll look into that. I might do some do some call selling or something. Since there's a lot of dumbasses out there who want to buy calls. So. Make a breakdown for this beat. I think so. I think I can. So let's do. What would we want to save with it? We want to get rid of the drums, right? We probably want to get rid of the. I'm gonna get rid of the bass high, so we'll keep the bass low. We'll take that here. Make some fat bass. So we're gonna need. Thank you. 
the jam that's how it's done I actually really like doing this in arrangement view um, it makes it a lot easier to kind of like make those new sections because you essentially just duplicate over like hey I want this I want this I want this it's a lot easier to see what I'm actually choose picking and choosing here and then just move your little loop thing around as you're going through um, so this makes it easy if I want to come back to this later and like actually make a song from this. Um, it's kind of already set up a little bit. But essentially just take all of this, move it to the move it to the right a bit and put some some intro in the beginning, kind of build up to it, loop it as many times as I want to, and then go to some outro, which is something like this. But yeah, I actually really really liked that workflow so hopefully you enjoyed that little jam it was a chill one that one's definitely getting called human music human lake music we're gonna that's what we're calling it human lake music something you would listen to on the lake perhaps all righty um, ba, 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 ba. let's leave those in place in case I come back to it alright that might be all the energy I have for, for today for this stream so I think I'm going to call it um, I'll upload this to YouTube there's a bunch of old ones on YouTube if you feel like jamming out more um, it's as if I'm still streaming but yeah I might be on later tonight um, Walt, let me know if you do want to come over and jam. Happy to have you. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.